Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. And we sing. Hi, everybody. This is Alex Bennett. This is The Ramble. And in about 25 minutes from right now, we'll go to our citizens panel. But first, we're going to check in with an old friend of ours. Ladies and gentlemen, it's always a pleasure, as usual, to welcome these uh, auspicious microphones. I don't know what I'm saying. Anymore, I'm just, I'm out of it today for some reason. Hey, it's Larry Bubbles Brown. <laughs> Larry Bubbles you, Brown. Yeah, what? You mentioned, uh, you know, uh, uh, solitude is such a, a rare commodity now because there's noise everywhere and you said there's hammering all over your Well, where, where they're building, what they're doing is, I'd not like to say they're building, but they're really destroying the apartment next door. Uh, you know, these apartments are really old apartments with a lot of wood in them and things like that. And they come in and they just like plaster everything up and lower the ceilings. And, uh, you know, they say they have to lower the ceilings so they can get the electrical conduits in. Well, there there is a level above. There's a crawl space, but they, they yeah. don't remember that, you know. And they just come in and ruin these apartments. So what we're yeah, doing? Yeah, they take these great places and make them tacky. Yeah. So what I do, you know, with this apartment, I feel part of what we're doing is trying to save it, uh, because if we ever were out of here, they would just they come in here and just destroy it. You yeah. know. Uh, and I like it the way it is. Yeah, it's a little, a little ratty. You know, it it could it, it's got a lot of dings and a lot of nicks, which I'd love to fix up if I owned the place. But I don't, so I'm happy to live with it. And it's a huge apartment, and, and it's beautiful with its high ceilings and everything else. And, you know, to think they come in and just destroy that just is, you know, and don't understand that they're ruining the value of their own property. Yeah. So anyway, they've been pounding next door for like two weeks now. And everything I do like this, I have to do in between uh, poundings. So if you hear some pounding while we're, that isn't uh, uh, that isn't uh, bubbles masturbating. So. <laughs> We've got that too. Every every apartment building in San Francisco has to be retrofitted for this earthquake crap. It's about it's about costs about four hundred thousand dollars. So there's yeah, but that retrofitting doesn't ruin the charm of the building. No, it basically just creates a new foundation and things like that and and structural points. You know. Uh, but uh, load-bearing areas, or I don't know. Yeah, I'm not a. But I, but they don't in San Francisco. They in fact have worked overtime to maintain the integrity, at least of the exterior architecture, of buildings. Yeah. You know, so if you've got a townhouse, they don't want you touching that townhouse. They don't want you ruining the the architecture on the front of it. Now this building is a uh, is a, what do you call it? Landmark building. So they can't. How old is it? It's uh, 1900. Wow. Uh, and it uh, they they can't do anything about the outside, but uh, they can do stuff inside. And so the, you know the saving of these buildings isn't to me just the outside of the building. It's the integrity of the inside architecture, and it's just been ruined in some of these buildings. They took like apartments like mine, which this is. Our, we have technically we have about eleven rooms. Uh, I mean, it, 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 including bathrooms and a maid's room and a, a kitchen and a foyer and a living room and a dining room and three bedrooms. And That's bigger than a house. Yeah, it is twenty five hundred square feet. Holy. Right. Uh, huge. Yeah, but what they do is they come in and they take what's the foyer and they put in two doors and ch chop it up into two apartments. So and it, ruin it. It, just ruining it, you know. So I feel that we're fighting to save the integrity of this apartment as well from, mm -hmm. from these people who would like to pound and, you know, ruin it like they are. So whatever. So what's new with you, Bubs? 
Well, I ran across, uh, I remember this when I was younger, but uh, I'm sure, I'm sure you, I think he might be the first hacker in history. Of the, uh, do you remember the Captain Crunch guy? Yeah, that was the guy. That, it's interesting how he discovered, what he did, Captain Crunch was the guy who learned how to use the phones for free. Yeah, this is like, I think, in the 60s. And the reason they called him Captain Crunch is because he discovered they had a little a whistle as a prize in Captain Crunch. And that if you blew that whistle into the phone, it somehow would do something and you could get free phone calls. It was, uh, they said it, whatever, it's 2600 megahertz, which was exactly the the wavelength that AT&T had on their long distance lines. Right. So he discovered that. And, yeah. Uh, uh, he, um, um, I, I can't remember who Captain Crunch was exactly. I think I looked. His name's Thomas Draper, I think. Mm -hmm. And he actually he went to work for Wozniak in yes, the seventies. Yes, I was going to say that. I was going to say that Wozniak had some kind of tie-in with him because Wozniak, believe it or not, was kind of a hacker in the old days, in the very beginning. You know, the only thing that made him legitimate is he met up with Jobs and they started this company. You know, but otherwise. Uh, he was making black boxes and doing things like that that would allow you to make free phone calls. The phone, yeah, and he... Uh, the phone, uh, the phone uh, system... I think yeah. it's Thomas Draper. Anyhow, he ha actually went to prison for a while. The phone system actually was very vulnerable in those days because it was just a simple thing. It was wires that went into your house. People could, you know, tap into it. There were ways of, ma there were ways of making phone calls uh, and... What happened was when you made a phone call or when your, a phone rang uh, or you picked it up, they could tell you were using the phone at the phone company because the resistance in the line changed. So these guys came up with a black box and a blue box and the whistle and the whole thing that when somebody would call you or you would call somebody, there was no change in resistance. So you couldn't tell a call was being made. <laughs> That, that's how bad the phone system was in those yeah. days. They never thought anybody would steal the product, you know? And then they found out everybody would steal the product, and now, of course, in the digital age, you can't do that sort of thing. So, yeah. Interesting. It sounded like an interesting guy, and then, uh, I remember, of course, we're old enough to remember when the, remember the phones came in. You couldn't unplug your phone. Oh no! They, you had to, they were screwed in. They were um, were there three or or two lines, and then you just had to attach them. And yeah, and you actually paid a rental for the phone to the AT and T, and they were like built like tanks. I don't know if you paid a rental, uh, but they belonged to the phone company. Yeah, you couldn't own your own phone. Couldn't you? You couldn't own your own phone. And they were made out of very heavy bake, bakelite, I think. Was yeah. <laughs> and, and, but the great thing, here was, here was the thing about the, the old telephones that really was a wonder to me. Uh, they were almost unbreakable. Yeah. You know, you, you uh, and uh, how many times, uh, well, I don't know if you had the temper I had, but uh, how many times did you actually get mad and yank that phone out of the wall and throw it across the room, and then when Bang you were it around a lot, it, then you were through with your fit, okay? And you picked up the phone, you screwed it back into the wall, and it worked. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, you, there was virtually they built it so there was virtually nothing you could do to these phones that would would ruin them. Yeah, and um, I always thought the phone company when they. You know, when the new phones came out, started coming out, that they should have come out with an ad saying, remember the time you got mad, you pulled that phone out of the wall and threw it against the room, and then you just screwed it back in, and it started working again? That's how good our phones are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? And they were. I mean, they were almost indestructible. They were, and the, the downside was you couldn't... Uh since you couldn't unplug them, you could, and there was no ringer, you couldn't turn the ringer off. So. Yeah. No, what, what they did have so that you could move around the room is you could go out and buy long cords for the ha handset. Remember some people had cords that would, like, go halfway across yeah, the like house? Yeah, curly cords that go 50 feet. Yeah, yeah. But then, uh, then they started coming out with the new phones. They came out with the Princess phone. That was the first designer phone I think they came out with 
and I don't know if you ever had one of those, but they made a big mistake with the Princess phone. It was very light in the beginning, and if you then tried to dial it, it would, like, move around the table. It had no weight on the bottom. They were very light. So the phone company put in lead weights in the bottom of the Princess phone so they wouldn't move when you tried to dial them. But that was... Uh, we didn't have one, yeah. I, I do remember they advertised those heavily, and... Uh was a better time yes it was but that that was the first time i ever saw the phone suddenly you know change from that old bakelite thing but prior to what you and i remember as a kid uh they had the ones that were like had the the earpiece on a little it was like a stand and you talked into it and you had to hold up the phone and then you put the thing to your ear do you remember those few of those that were still around when I was born, but basically I just had the old Bakelite phones. So. Yeah, I was trying to remember, God, I remember as a kid having the rotary dial, and then they got the touch tone. Then they got the touch tone, and uh, my mother never could get used to the touch tone, which taught me a great lesson in life, is that as we get older, we cannot learn new tricks. Right. My mother was used to using a dial phone, right? Mm -hmm. Now you presented her with a touch tone, and she couldn't figure it out. Hey, Mom, you just hit one for one and two for two, and you just got the letters on them for the, the you know, the anytime you need, like, you know, a Garfield 3221 or whatever. And she couldn't get with that. She had to have a dial phone. And she could she could dial really fast. Bah, 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 bah. Now, if I handed a dial phone to a kid today who uses, you know, his cell phone or his touch tone or whatever, couldn't he couldn't use the dial phone? Be too much. He, he couldn't. He'd have a hard time negotiating it. Yeah. As much as I hate change, I uh, I don't. I never liked the rotary phones. I thought the touch tones were better. Well, of course. But then again, you were at an age where you could adapt yourself to them very easily, and so could I. We're no longer adaptable. We're no longer adaptable. You know, I I, I want things the way they were. <laughs> <laughs> and I just found out I actually went into AT and T. Yeah. Thinking about getting the high speed internet. Yeah. So he looks up my building and uh, he goes, "Oh, I don't think it's going to work." He said the, something about the wiring in the building so old until they upgraded. He said I would get. I would get three BPS, which I don't know what that means, but he said that's really not much better than dial-up. Wait a minute. They cannot, they can, they, really, they can't do it? He told, he said, he said, I'd love to sell you that, but he said, I got to be honest. He said, With, your building looks so old that the, it's not going to be much better than dial-up. Does anybody else in your building have uh, high speed? They have to. I don't know. Why don't you ask one of your... Do you talk to your neighbors? No. <laughs> See, I, I, I expected as much. Um, <laughs> no, but, you know, you might ask one of them, do you have high speed? Do, yeah. you know, because I'm sure that... The, I think that... that per, who, who, do, who are you talking to? I went to the AT&T store. And they said that that building was too old. Yeah, he looked it up and... Uh, they can rent. Like, they can send. Upgrade the building. He said. He said it wouldn't be worth it. It wouldn't be worth it. What, I could get what for them or for they're, you? They're offering it for thirty bucks right now. High speed on AT and T. Well, uh, you know, I mean, God, I, I've never heard of a building that they can't install it. And in fact, usually they like doing that because if your building doesn't have high speed lines in there. This gives them an opportunity to put in high-speed lines and sell them to everybody in the building. I, I, I find that very hard to believe. I would check with them again. All right. Or I would check with another, another company other than AT&T. Or, or are they the only ones that supply high-speed? Well, we got speed? Comcast. Well, call Comcast. See what they can do. You know, do do uh, people must have okay? Here, I got an I got an answer for you. People in your building must have cable TV. Am I right or am I wrong? They have to. Yeah, we got techies and young people in the building. Uh, do you have cable in your apartment? No. Oh gee, boy, you are just the worst. Anyway, uh, you see, you don't have 
You don't have cable in your apartment, but you could have it installed tomorrow if you wanted. I it. could, yeah. Well, then there's your cable. There, there's your high-speed internet right there. Right there, right there. Yeah. So I don't know why. So just have cable installed, and take their internet service. Yeah, I got this dial-up's killing me. You know, and you can get and you can get the minor version of that. You know, you can get like. Uh, basic cable and that's it but once you've got the cable in there getting the internet is is easy peasy so fuck at&t that they don't have a phone line in there you know yeah so i just solved your problem for you nothing's easy yeah but uh you know i mean i mean i know you're the ultimate luddite and i appreciate that because i think in this day and age um I, I, there are times I've actually thought about taking myself entirely offline. You know, everything. There is there is a small movement that's doing that, and they say they actually feel much better. <laughs> well, I think you would. I mean, I, I, you know, I always believed in the promise of the, this wonderful future. You, you remember me? I was Mister Sci-Fi and what the mm -hmm. future was going to be like and all that. Well, you know, the future I dreamed about is here. I mean. You know, just like cell phones and things like that. God, it's all the the future that I dreamed of, and and but the fact is that it the dream has turned into a nightmare because people have taken advantage of it and people are ripping people off as a result of it. So people aren't as safe as they were because of the new technology. Yeah, really. Uh, you know, I have to now. When I'm doing an interview like with you, I have to. In fact, did I take? No, I have the. I actually have my iPad in here. Usually, I take my iPad, and I have my iPhone in here too. Wow, that's terrible. Uh, I usually take my phones, put them in the other room because there are so many of these um, uh, calls that I get, these robo calls that I get, and you know, I'm on a do not call list, and I get them. No, oh, me too. You know, so, I mean, because they don't have to pay attention to them because actually they're calling you from Russia or someplace like that, and then they're spoofing that it's like, you know, the 415 area code. So I, it, it, it's just, it's terrible. I mean, we're just taking advantage of, and people are not, how can I put it? They're not, we're not safe anymore. And we're not safe because of the technology. So when you had that little Bakelite phone, you were a lot safer than you are now. Oh, yeah. You know? Uh, of course, you had it was a terrible time because when you wanted to go deposit to the bank, you had to make sure that you were there while the bank was open. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you did, yeah, I'll keep the, I'll tell you, I got a deal. Get rid of all our cell phones, I'll, but let's keep the ATMs. Uh -oh. Yeah. Oh, and the other part of the ATM which is my cell phone, where I can actually deposit a check by taking a photograph of it. <laughs> yeah. That's so far beyond my capacity. Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, that we have any, we know I have, uh, people don't know this, but I offered you a, a, an iPhone, one of my old iPhones, one of my old, I used to use them iPhones, I have two of them here, I'll give you the newest one, you know. And that if you want it, fine. But first, you got to get you got to get yourself an internet connection. Yeah. Uh, and then you can, you know, get yourself a, um, a you know, a deal through AT and T to get the phone turned on. And then you will be wired in. And you can have my phone. <laughs> but you know, you got to do a few things first before we can get there. I, if, you know, you're I gonna have to come out here and help me. Well, I send you the phone, okay? I send you the phone, and then it's going to, like, uh, sit there, <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You might turn it on once and say, ooh, pretty, you know, and that's about it. <laughs> you know, and it could work without uh, you signing up to AT&T, but then you have to have Wi-Fi. But you don't have Wi-Fi. No. So I don't know what we're going to do about you. Uh how did you get? How did you get this way? You just didn't care. I think that's it. I, I'm such it, a minimalist. I don't like anything new in my life. Yeah, you're you're an old man before your time. You're you you you're the equivalent of an eighty year old. I think I was because I remember. 
I, it took me forever. I was, when I was making good money at stand up, it took me forever to even buy a VCR. I don't know why I didn't do that. Is it that you just don't care about technology? I guess not. You don't. You don't care about whatever promise it may bring you. Actually, you're insulated. I mean, who, who can who can steal your identity? There's no way they can do it. There's no inroad to stealing your identity. Well, maybe they. On. You've got. <laughs> you got a credit card. I'm sure they can probably. Oh yeah. So there's there's I'm sure there's tons of stuff on me on the internet somewhere. So. Yeah. Well, you know, you're missing things like spam email. <laughs> Identity theft, uh, you all the other wonderful things that go with this part of the. Can I ask you something? Because you 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 work out, right? You run every day. Every other day, yeah. Every other day. Um, so I, I was noticing that my weight was creeping up a little bit, and nothing nothing bad. I mean, I was a hundred and forty four, and as of today, I'm a hundred and eighty. Uh, uh, 244, and now I'm 183, all right? But I was like 100 and, and uh, um, excuse me, 192 or three, okay? But I was like at 185. Now, there's not much of a change, you know, that happens on and off. But uh, I, I started working out. I started going to the gym every day. Mm -hmm. I do 20 to 25 minutes on the bike. I do a couple of lifts and things like that. And then I maybe take a little bit of a walk. And and you guess what? I'm gaining weight. Uh, you're actually, that's good because you're actually gaining muscle, which weighs more than fat. Really? Yeah. So you're, uh, you'll maybe weigh a little more, but your body will look better. Oh, okay. Well, I, thanks for making me feel good because I've been st sticking to my diet a hundred percent, and I can't seem to lose. No, well, you don't worry about it. You, you're you're tall. You got a big frame. I think that's your weight sounds pretty low to me. My weight is not terrible. Okay. No. Not but at all. but if, but I don't like to see it going up after I went through that loss. I, it went all the way down. At one point, I. And it was just because I was depressed and not eating, went down to 180, but it usually was around 186, 187, and now it's 180, uh, 93 today. And I'm going, what? You know, and I'm dieting, and nothing's happening, and I'm working out. Well, you're getting muscle. Well, I don't want muscle. Muscle's good. Chicks you know, dig it. I, I, I wanted to, you know, help my, uh, the only, I don't know why I'm doing it. I mean, I get on this goddamn, tr you know, bike and I, and I go nowhere. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Story of our lives. I'm going nowhere. It's like a treadmill to oblivion. As <laughs> Oscar putting that Le effort and going nowhere. <laughs> as Oscar Levant once referred to a treadmill to oblivion. <laughs> you know, so. I don't know. I just, uh, but I, uh, I lost all that weight. I don't want to gain it back, you know. And uh, well, you, no, but you'll, you'll look better. It's fine. Don't worry. I'll look better. Yeah, because you're. Well, how can I look better if I never look good to begin with? <laughs> you're shedding fat. You're getting muscle. Yeah. 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 Well, you're probably in pretty good shape. You were always skinny, right? Oh, I was very fat in high school. That's why. Yeah. I, I kind of have the thing. I'm kind of like you too. I watch my weight very carefully. So if it starts to creep up, I freak out. But yeah, but then it creep goes down again. I guess. Yeah. yeah. yeah but I just, you know, I just, I, I wish I had uh, more of a, you know, I, I, it, it's just depressing me because I go, I, I don't like working out. I don't like it. I hate it. I hate every minute yeah. of it. Yeah, it's pretty boring. Yeah, it's pretty boring. Uh, I find myself a movie to watch on Netflix and then I start pedaling away, you know? So, uh, but you wouldn't know about that since you don't have Netflix, you don't have a smartphone. Well, my, my God, my sister has Netflix and that does look like, that seems like a really great bargain. Well, it's, it, yeah, it is. It's, uh, uh, yeah, it's a good bargain, especially if you're my age and you have nothing to do, so it's something to watch, you know? Well, yeah. Uh, they got. I love documentaries, and there's a ton of those on there. Yeah, yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I, I want you to know that you are listening to a throwback 
to, uh, <laughs> a, a Ted Kaczynski follower. Uh, it, well, you know, Ted Kaczynski was right about a lot of stuff. And it turns out every day he becomes more and more right about that stuff. I mean, he was against the way technology was going. And, uh, you know, it, while his, uh, his rants were kind of sometimes incoherent, in between the lines, he was saying some very, very important stuff. And maybe we should listen to, the, to him. Yeah, uh, maybe he was a genius. He did, oh, he so. was a genius. There was no question about that. It's just he, he, he was bad at mailing stuff. Anyway. <laughs> hey, good talking to you again, my friend. <laughs> A great way to end the show. <laughs> yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, the very, very popular Larry Bubbles Brown. Bye. Bye, Alex. Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before, this is Gabby, the Great American Broadcast Network. And here we are, <coughs> ladies and gentlemen. Oh, <clears throat> I got a little frog in my throat. Oh, well, okay. Uh, that's uh, that's all right too. Anyway, uh, we're uh, we're uh, getting into our um, our we're turning on our Skype so that people can Skype me, and then I got to delete all the old ones here because I try to clear this up so that everybody else can have a clear uh, board. You don't know what I'm doing, but if you've ever used Skype, you notice that it it lists all the people that you've talked to, and I get rid of those so that I can have a nice clean start here tonight, all right? And uh, we do a thing called the Citizens Panel. And that's where we have a group of people calling us, not just one, not just two, but uh, hopefully upwards to uh, nine other people besides myself. Sometimes it has gone higher, but lately it's been staying somewhere around the seven-ish, eight-ish range, I guess. Um, and uh, if you want to find out how to join the Citizens Panel, it's a very simple process. Just go over to gabnet.net, which is our website, and over on the right-hand side of the page, it talks about how to join the Citizens Panel. It tells you how to download Skype, gives you all the links you need. It's very simple, and if you, you may have Skype on your machine already and not even know it, but then you call us, and uh, you can be part of the Citizen Panel, and everybody can see your ugly face, okay? All right. So, anyway, uh, I'm uh, uh, I'm waiting for callers, and I'm stalling. Uh, and the, one of the reasons I stall is because if I start talking about something, and then somebody calls me, uh, I then have to remember what I was talking about, and that's not the easiest thing in the world. Well, here's the first guy to call, and he's usually one of the first to call every night, ladies and gentlemen, the lovely and attractive Phil Meyer, or, or as we call him, the person all America loves. Yeah. Hey, uh, I decided maybe what I should do is just turn off my camera. Why? Well, you never see my hand up anyway, so... It, oh, it, stop it. it. Now quit <laughs> getting on my case. <laughs> you know, it's... oh. Uh, th Joe Blow has his okay, hand Okay, well, wait a minute. Wait, you see, guy, here's what you should do. Yeah. You should lower your camera just a little bit so your head is more towards the top. All okay. right. That means I have to pull down the... Uh, yeah, okay. there you go. Now, raise your hand. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. I have to... I, everything. Oh. Uh, there, I see it. It's perfect. Hey, look who's there. By the way, turn your camera sideways, uh, uh, Ray. Then we get a nice panoramic yeah. view of it. Oh, there you are. I was, I was doing my Ted Kaczynski for you. Uh, are yeah. you uh, uh, what are you out doing? Are you out running? I, I'm walking the dog. Oh, uh, you as you have in the past, as a matter of fact. Yes. Yeah. But it got very dark the last time you walk the dog yeah yeah well it's light it's 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 getting lighter now because the the year is progressing yeah i've heard about that it has something to do with us going around the sun or something uh, no the no sun, the earth doesn't the move earth. right the, the, the no the earth no the earth rotates around the sun not anymore it, it, it goes no, it goes no, not uh, since trump's been president right oh, oh i see okay <laughs> <laughs> Now, Phil, oh, probably, excuse Phil, do you me. think the Earth rotates? Well, no, I, I think it's flat. Yeah, I knew you did. I knew it. <laughs> you, you think it's flat, huh? Here's yeah. some, hey, here's Bree. We haven't heard from Bree in a while. 
Let's see if he comes up here. It looks like he's trying. And there he is. Hi, Bree. How are you? Bree, how you doing? Now, it's early in the morning for him. Good. How are you, Alex? Bree, Bree, you're calling us from Dubai, right? Are you able to hear me? Yeah, yeah, we can hear you. Are you you calling from Dubai? That's right. Dubai, right? Okay. Woo. How's everything in Dubai these days? Yeah. Good morning. Hello. Yeah, it's good morning from Dubai. Yeah, uh, I had a friend of mine who went to Dubai a couple of weeks ago for a vacation and said it was they had a very nice time. They really enjoyed it. And yeah. by, by the way, if you look carefully no, nice. in uh, in uh, California, you can see Ray walking his dog, <laughs> or or rather the there dog. There she is. More like the dog, the dog walking Ray, actually. Yeah, yeah. So. Ah. I, I don't That's see right. any poopy bags on the uh, on the leash. Do you carry them uh, individually? It's in, or? it's in my pocket. Uh, a lot of people but, carry the. But poop. once there's, go mm -hmm. ahead. But once there's poop in it, I don't keep it in my pocket. But you oh. know, oh, before, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh, Look at that. My girlfriend she's got a job. sideways. She is walking and... sideways, isn't she? Yeah, that's all she always does. Yeah. Oh, Ted Kaczynski. Yeah. <laughs> I have to walk in my dog too in the morning and then in the afternoon I come home yeah, in the afternoon that's why I don't have a dog I don't want to have to do that you know no, but it's it's a nice relationship the dog doesn't yell at me yeah. the dog doesn't yell at you uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, the dog uh, has nothing but love for me I don't know. I, oh. I I don't know what I would do about uh, about that sort of thing because I do, I wouldn't like to go picking up poop for my dog. Okay, it's so. okay. You know, it, it you get used to it. Yeah, but you see, if I own okay. a cat, the cat knows where to poop, and that's it. Yeah, you know? dog's poop is special. But well, this dog is like nothing. This dog is so small. Yeah. And we feed it the same food for its entire life. It's eating the same food, and it does the same. It. it it poo she poops two little things, then she walks about five feet, and then she does one more little thing, and then she's done. And it's exactly the same way every day. Does well, your dog walk in circles before she does the poop? She does another. She, no, she just kind of does this weird kind of walk. You know, it's coming. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's okay. coming in, you know, 30 seconds or so. This is yeah. the whole. This is the show All yeah. America is yeah. talking about where we talk about dogs pooping. Yeah, that's why Bree, Bree called them. Does Bree have a dog? Bree, do you have a pet? No, not here, I, but I used to. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It, to walk your pet there would be a pretty hot proposition, wouldn't it? Well, that's the reason why. And you have to excuse me. I'm hooking up a uh, an ear set with a microphone. For some reason, on I'm on a new little small tablet and the yeah yeah the audio is i have cranked but i can barely hear you so let me just put the earsets in um <clears throat> when i lived in new york i had a uh i had a uh, dog if you can still hear me i hope you can oh, yeah. now we can hear now you. it's loud yeah, enough. yeah, yeah. That's, um, that's better yeah okay, excuse me yeah um i had an australian shepherd and uh Oof. when i moved to singapore i adopted her out um, it took me a good part of a year to find a home. Uh, a woman who had a border collie lived near uh, Connecticut, New York border. She had a very, she lived near a big uh, forest. And uh, anyway, I adopted my dog out because I knew she wouldn't like the heat in Singapore. And she was getting a little older and I didn't know that the flight would be good. Uh, so yeah. yeah. Uh, and here the problem we have is we don't have a lot of green areas. So when people walk their dogs, yeah, they tend to do their business yeah. on the sidewalk or in the sand, and um, and as a result, uh, you just don't want to have a dog here. Yeah, I but you know, you a, know what you do want to have. Place. What you do want to have in Dubai is a cat because they'll think it's just one big yeah. cat box. Now, now, are the sidewalks? Yeah. Uh, do the sidewalks burn the bottom of their feet, or do they wear booties? Uh, <clears throat> in Dubai? No, 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 no. <laughs> Uh, I heard 20 degrees. I mean, I heard that no, most, you know, the thing most is, people in Dubai have hot dogs. 
<laughs> yeah. No. What, what, what were you saying? How, how hot does it get in Dubai, Bree? <laughs> I mean, it gets very hot, but um, <clears throat> it's really hard to explain it. You know, it's it's not like uh, other places. It's but we're just sort of used to it, and you get used to it, and it's not not such a big deal. Yeah. When um, it's hundred degrees you know, here, Bree, I have to carry my dog to the park, and because if I put her down on the sidewalk, it would it would hurt her feet. Uh, because the sidewalks. Are- yeah, I think <clears throat> I think because your sidewalks are somewhat limited, so they don't. It, it's like a heat sink. Uh, yeah. Since we're mostly concrete, yeah, uh, it, it's all connected. So, it I guess it diffuses better. I, I don't know exactly the science behind it, but yeah, it's not such a big deal. Now, I now I yeah. seem to hear and we uh, do have dog. Marks. Uh, wait, what now? What is that dog doing? It's rolling. It's just- She's playing in the grass. I see. Okay, and you don't have <laughs> her. Same thing. You don't have her on the leash right now, right? No, no, I took her off. Okay, is that legal? I mean, is that okay? No, no, no it's not. Well, it's a nice yeah. thing because it's the leash you can do for her. <laughs> <laughs> she wants to play. Do you have a toy? I, I forgot to bring a ball because she's addicted to balls, but that's probably good because that's all I would be doing. Hey, we were talking about balls a ball. last night. Yeah, yeah, we were talking about being addicted. Oh, yeah. So I, I watched the news today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So did I. Oh, <laughs> poor, God. Poor Ray. <laughs> well, I, I was thinking, like, in three or four generations, if if that's still up on YouTube. Yeah. And one of, one of my dad's, like, great-grandkids has a big, giant dick. He'll know why. Hey, you know, I figured out why you have hair, Ray. I figured out why you have hair and your maternal yeah. grandfather did not. Why? Because he was the mailman. <laughs> ah, ah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, yeah. I don't think so. Boy, no. nobody's watching us. I, I think it's just... Nobody's watching us tonight, and we have a dog playing. That should be... That's the kind of thing... If I, maybe it has to be a cat. I don't know. Well, maybe you got to yeah, act like a cat. Act like a cat. Yeah. Are there any ducklings around that your dog could adopt? Uh, <laughs> Have you seen that story? Here. No. What? What's no, What's no. that story, Bree? Oh, that's the big story. Uh, there's a a dog named Fred. Mm-hmm. There's a Labrador Retriever, and uh, there's a number of ducklings that uh, Fred has adopted. Yeah. And it's blowing up on the internet. You know, going completely viral now. All the cute pictures. You, you know, I sit here. <laughs> so, I try to sit here trying to do an entertaining two hours of programming when all I really need to have is a bunch of ducklings with a dog to get millions of viewers. Okay. You know? I'll try to find some ducks. <clears throat> yeah. It, <laughs> is it the that your dog can adopt? Is it the product or <laughs> is it viewers? Which, you know, if you put out a quality product, uh, eventually people may start watching it. Uh, but if you you know if you do a flash in the pan, yeah, uh, like ducks and a dog, yeah, you know, where's, well, where's well, the creativity I'll, in that? I'll tell you who I resent. There, if you look on your uh, fate on your YouTube page over to the right, they usually have suggestions of things for you to watch or whatever. It's never mm-hmm. ever me, but they suggest things that you should watch. And there's this company called Looper. Have you seen these? They. No. Yeah. I've got like right on, right yeah, now Luca. on the side there they do are, stuff. Yeah, yeah, Alex, you got to do a commentary about uh, Avengers: Infinity War. Yeah, well, wait a minute. You know, Looper. You do that. Looper, 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 Looper. Why do I keep getting Looper? Then there's Joe Bio videos. Then a that Saturday sounds Night like Live, a Bob Rupin, Then another uh, Looper. And what it is is Looper. What Looper does is like the five best and worst things in Deadpool two. Uh, well, you, that sounds like Bob exactly. Uh, get, uh, joke. Well, Alex, we have a term in uh, communication theory called surfing. Yeah. And so, you know, th- I thought about this the other day. Like, if you just you just look at whatever is trending, and then take the take the words, and then develop something about that. Yeah. So whatever you know is the current thing that people want to talk about today. You just that's you just do that, and. Uh, you know, top five things exactly. It's maybe, it's it's like a formula. Maybe I should maybe I should start uh, rename the show like the top five things about Star Trek. <laughs> you know, 
Actually, you do better if you have the worst moments of from the uh, latest Avengers movie, you know. But this looper, they got. Yeah. Uh, I constantly have this looper shot, you know, stuck in my face, and I'm going, who, who are they blowing over at YouTube? You know. Well, yeah, they're they're probably paying. They're I, probably paying for a certain uh, yeah. amount of that. Yeah. Maybe. You know, you can pay to boost your presence. You think maybe YouTube owns them? Owns Looper? No. No? No. Could be. I doubt it. I never it. get Looper on the side. I don't know why. <clears throat> no, I just now get, I feel left out. What do I you, just get things about diabetes. What do you what do you have? <laughs> well on the videos they, was, they uh, suggest they say up next. See it says up next. And and uh, what is it what is it what do you have there, Phil? Uh, on, uh, on, on YouTube. What? On, on YouTube. YouTube. Yeah. I'd have to look. I'm not watching you on YouTube. I'm, you know, watching the Skype. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see what I got here. Yeah, YouTube. Yeah. Well, uh, do you ha do you have YouTube? Looper was a film in 2012. What? Uh, Looper was a film in 2012. You're right. You're um, right. Yes. Yeah. About a guy. I think it had to do with going back into the past or looping in the past and into the future yeah. and so on. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there was yes. also one called Jumper. Um, mm -hmm. uh, on the phone, I all I see is a um, uh, oh. one thing after another. You got Gabnet, then you got a Ronnie Bennett, then a Shark Tank uh, yeah. fighting an invasive stink bug. National Geographic. Wow. You, uh, you, you know, well, apparently there must be something about me that is looper friendly. And uh, here's one: uh, a car since 1957 was lying underground, brand new car. That's pretty cool. Wow. Um, yeah, I don't have any. Well, those stuff. are all the things you could be watching instead of me, folks, if you wanted to right now. You, you know? know, when I was uh, recuperating from the operation, I okay. start. I I noticed that I could take my phone on YouTube and I could play it through the Apple TV. And I, uh, I was too lazy to change it, and I was watching things about the difference between a Telecaster and, and other guitars, how to tell whether a Gibson is uh, bootlegged or not. I don't even play the guitar. I must have seen 35 guitar videos, on, uh, and now I'm, I can tell you whether a guitar is bootlegged, whether it's a real Fender or not. And, uh, but I can't play. Hey, folks! Cute. <laughs> tell all your friends there are cute dog pictures on right now. Look at that. <laughs> Quiet. Uh, oh, <laughs> people are talking. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm also watching the Pirates uh, blow a lead in the eleventh uh, inning. Oh, really? Yeah, uh, yeah. I watched the Pirates from uh, Pittsburgh Pirates from here. They were doing well at the start of the season, mm -hmm. uh, unexpectedly so. But now they're kind of tanking. Uh, the last week they've been really bad, and they just blew a lead in in the ninth, and now it's an extra inning. So, wow! I didn't even know it was baseball season. <laughs> well, did you see the NFL is going to fine? Teams. Yeah, well, this is if yeah. they. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, they're going to find the players, all the players. No, no, if, no, 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 oh. no. You've got it wrong. The of course. the NFL. Yeah. Is going to find the teams. The uh -huh. teams can decide what to do with their players. I so see. So the teams are responsible for making their people stand for the pledge of elite or for the uh, national anthem. Now there are two things about this. Number one. Uh, I, I I don't think you should have to stand for the national anthem if you don't want to. It's a fucking goddamn song. If you're going to be an employee of a company, no, and they want you to no, stand no, no, and rub no. your tummy. I, th I, think, I, think, I, think, I think my rights are being violated. Well, you know, you don't have rights when, uh, when you you're can, an employee. You can bet your life that the players union <clears throat> is going to go to court on this one. Well, we'll see. I'm, I'm very happy. Uh, why, you know, why are you I, happy? It, Come on, it's just a fucking song it, no, that no, wasn't made. I don't think it's related to the job that they do. It's you know, part if, of the show. 
Um, what, what do you mean it's part? Yeah, I don't know about it's that. It's not part of the show. The, the thing is, is we've, you know, we've used the sporting events to, uh, you know, help create our national identity uh, over many, many years. I mean, you you may not know, but the military uh, has a relationship, and they have paid for, in some cases, uh, this relationship. And um, I, I think, I mean, the, the, it's an interesting dynamic, to say the least. Hey, well, um, let me ask you. Let me yeah. ask you this question, Phil. What yeah. in the world does the playing of the national anthem have to do with baseball? The uh, well, first or football, of all, football, uh, football baseball, in this case, uh, football, football. football. Uh, it is part. They have determined that it's part of their show, and that's what they put on. But it's and then you're it's, an it, actor. It, but, but you're saying the word show. If it's a show, why should you put, penalize someone if they don't want to perform in that show and fire them? Because you see, the thing is, if I have what do you mean, fire them because they won't stand for a stupid fucking song? Look, listen to me here. If no, I'm you were I, in a I, play. You're an actor, okay? Yeah. If, Wait a minute. There's a dog drinking water. That's cute. That should get us another couple of viewers. If you were given a script, <laughs> the script said that you can't you Wait, I have a question. come out and put your hat on and sing a song. You're talking you, two entirely different things, It's Phil. that. No, These guys it's are... No, no. It, it, they're paid, they're not. They're not being paid to be performers. They're being paid do, to be athletes. Do, um, yes, Bree. Do, do, students, do students in school in the U.S., because I don't know this, do they still have to, to rise to say the Pledge of Allegiance at the beginning of the school day? No. Okay. No, so why? Why? It's, because I had to do that to in school. What? They're not being paid to be in school. You don't understand, Phil. You're you're mixing up show business with football. Football and, is and, show and business. And also, you know, uh, 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 they got advertisers. Okay. Got okay. Okay. Let me posit you this. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's say you have a choice. Do you have a choice of not standing? No. No. And why don't you have that choice? Because that's when you were hired. That was uh, that was a. Uh, 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 no, a, no, that not. wasn't that wasn't in the contract. <laughs> that wasn't in I'm the contract. Breathing. Who who is playing that has was there in two thousand nine that uh, is there now? How many how many of those players are still I there? I sincerely that doubt that, any, uh, that even to this day they have to sign a uh, piece of paper in their contract saying they will stand for the national anthem. Well, uh, they are going to now. That violates their civil rights. It doesn't violate yeah, absolutely. anything. Absolutely. Look, Ray, Ray, listen, Ray is an actor. He's given a script. He's told you're he's too, you're, go you can't equate you can't equate the two. You're trying to equate no. them, and they have nothing. To, would you agree, Ray? They have nothing to do with each other, right? Nothing. If if they I have, have nothing to, to do play, with each other, I, no, they if don't. I have an employee, and I want them to say thank you for coming into our store. We 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 love you. Uh, here's a, here's a bottle of water. Uh, That's you know. not playing the fucking national anthem. That's not yes, saying yes. you have to stand, put your hand over your heart for something if you don't want to do so it. So you put your hand over your heart and you say, "Can I offer you a cup of coffee or a bottle of water?" It's the same thing. Mm. Wait, wait, wait. Do all the teams have a clause when you join that says you have to stand and put your hand over your heart? I think it's national a rule. anthem. I think it's a rule. No, it, it may in be. the National Football League or by yeah, team. Yeah, I think so. But National well, we Football. That's what we have to know because if it is, and you sign the thing, then I guess you got to do it. But yeah. uh, I, I don't know the I don't know the I, answer. I, to that. They, they are being given an option. They are being given an option that if they don't want they, to stand, right. they can they can stay uh, in the uh, in the dugout, the, 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 the wherever the the yeah. oh, locker room until okay. it's through. So people okay. can go, is it all clear? Is the national anthem over with? Is that song they sing, that piece of, uh, of uh, that anybody can stand for? You know, I think it takes more to not stand for it than to stand for it. Well, just in Phil's defense, okay, say I had an equity contract for a play, and part of it was that I had to go to the curtain call and back out. Mm -hmm. And if I didn't, I'd be breaking the contract. Now, I don't know if that's within the rules of actors equity but you know they could fire me for it if it 
if Actors' Equity approved of that uh, of that requirement. So, uh, if they're allowed to stay in the locker room instead of taking a knee, and in the contract it says if you're on the field you have to put your hand in your heart, then they're breaking the contract, and yeah, they could be fined or fired or whatever. Yeah, I mean, but we don't know whether it's in those contracts or not. But let's yeah, talk, we don't let's know. Talk about, That's let's, what I need let's, to know. Let's talk about let's talk about the the morality of having to do this in the first place. To begin with, this is a piece of music that was, wasn't our national anthem before I think about 1936. And then lacking in that, before that, I think America the Beautiful was used in a lot of places. Other songs were used elsewhere, but there was no national anthem. So we made it a national anthem. And, and we then think of this horrible piece of music, by the way, as revered in some way. Well, to say that people have to act in a certain way when that song is played is really jingoistic because, you know, anybody, a, 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 a Islamic terrorist could stand, put his hand over the heart if he wants to pass as an American. It's jingoistic. It doesn't matter. It's meaningless. And I it's think that people perform. have decided not to stand for it because they felt that that song somehow and th represented a certain amount of oppression to them. And I think they have that right. Okay. No, no they uh, don't have a right. So they don't. They don't have a right to freedom of speech. That's why they're called. They don't that's have all professionals. They. You know, if, prof if it would hey, be Phil, like, Phil, if there's a high school kid yeah. and they were planning would, is okay. Kid, What'd you, huh? what'd you say, Bree? Well, I think what they're planning is okay. And they're, they're basically they're saying, look, if you uh, want to, you can come out and stand for the national anthem. If, but however, if you were planning on taking a knee, please stay in the locker room. So in a way, they do, uh, uh, if I'm reading it correctly, mm -hmm. they now have this choice. They actually have um, a bigger problem, though, Bree. Suppose nobody comes out. That's okay. Well, it ain't going to make the team and I look think good. That that's likely, huh? Yeah, and I, I think that that's that's probably likely to some extent. Yep. Because uh, I don't like when any time I'm told that something is mandatory. Boy, I don't like that. You know, I, and well, there's and another. If, if, there's also another yeah. problem here, Bree. You got to remember what mm -hmm. are, what color are the majority of people who are playing football? They're black. And this is really a black uh, 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 argument, okay? Uh, and was started because of, of, of uh, certain feelings that blacks had about this. They would now be in bad stead with their own community if they did come out. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I say eliminate football. Well, the the gonna lose. Yeah. They just hit a... Uh, that they we almost okay they're calling him out okay uh the the it's in the bottom of the 11th and we threw they bunted we threw it to hit their player very unusual play it hit him in the head oh wait a minute but he had hold, a helmet hold on, on a second hey, Bree, it, does this yeah is, is what you're doing right now is this any description of a national league football game that you're doing <laughs> No, major league baseball game but yeah but you just broke uh, it's you in just, delay you just broke he's the out of I'm delayed no but he, but any description no but he's out of the country there's no jurisdiction over there no but there is here and he's doing well, it on my air I, and i but could I get think sued a, i think huh okay all right sorry about that i think there is a delay yeah um you know, oh, that, there that's is occurring. the delay, I'm not but, doing but it live. any any recreation, any recreation or depiction of this game is expressly prohibited without well, the written permission news, of the commissioner of baseball. It's news about. Hey, Bree. It's news about. Yeah. There, there is a delay. That game was last week. Yeah. <laughs> what? What? what uh, How right, does it turn out. Ray is doing. Uh, <laughs> Ray's trying to tell us something. <laughs> I didn't here. watch that one. Hold on a I second. Just, I just have a, a, a thought about yeah. the com not coming out versus the taking a knee. I don't, I don't see how one is going to be any different than the other. Uh, if people don't come out, you're going to notice they didn't come out, and they're going to make a big deal about it when they run back on the field versus taking a knee. I don't see how one one is. Any I think you're going to find. Other. I think you're going to find whole teams oh, staying in different. the locker. I think. I, how, why? I hope they lose their fan yeah, base. Yeah, because. Boom. 
Well, they'll have okay. to decide on that. But, what? What? I, but I think that uh, they, they they just look at it as another opportunity to take a little extra time to get ready, and they don't have to participate in that you know that part of the show. No, they can meet um, their wives there. out there and girlfriends. Uh, but while but they, they are there to play the game, to be athletes. They're not there to help, uh, you know, boost the national image. Uh, so I think that uh, many of them probably will stay in their locker. And, right. Uh, it'll just become a habit. But uh, then they're going to make a statement. They're so what, they're going to uh, come no, running well, out. They're going to come running out. They're, they're going to come lazy. running out and they're going to make a big deal out of it. And people are either going to boo them or or cheer for them, depending on what side they're on. And it's just going to have the same effect as taking a knee. Patrick Blazik just wrote me. He says, right. stand for the anthem. And uh, I could give a shit. So I told him, well, he says he's getting, in the sh- he's getting in the shower. I told him to have fun. He says, Alex knows my view anyway. Yeah, I know his view on these things. Yeah. 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 But we wouldn't mind hearing it, especially from the shower. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, I always thought taking a knee was somewhat uh respectful i mean they're saying you know we don't like what's going on so we're taking it's not like the black power thing where people were raising their hand with the black glove and it was kind of an aggressive move this is more of like look we don't like what's going on we're gonna we're gonna take a knee instead of stand to show that you know there's a problem we want to address it i mean to me it's well, to I, me, it's very civilized. I don't understand the whole... Uh, you, you know, I, but no, wait a minute. Hold on a second, Phil. Let me, let me say something since this is my show. Uh, it is? Yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> At least I'm paying the bill for it. Anyway, um, <laughs> the fact of the matter is that, you know, when, you're, when you meet the queen, uh, what, what do you do? You kneel. Or when you, you're knighted, what do you do? You kneel. Kneeling... Did Trump kneel? Huh? When he met... Wait, did Trump kneel when he met the Queen? Trump, Only oh Trump, we wouldn't want Trump to kneel. He couldn't get back up again. <laughs> I know that feeling. But uh, no, and and you know what about the you know they bowed to that king, the king of Saudi Arabia, and things like that. We don't do that, and even as Jews, we don't do that. Well, I mean, it, it, we don't do that. But uh, what I'm saying is, is that uh, uh, you know, uh, bowing is not considered discourteous. Well, maybe in Japan. Uh, taking the knee is not considered discourteous. As a matter of fact, in the old days in England, if you didn't take the knee to the queen uh, or to the groin, uh, they, yeah, you know, get your head Well, is, isn't it better in America where uh, all you got to do is stay in the locker room? I, yeah, look, I, I love, Kaepernick. I, know, I love okay. Kaepernick. I love the whole dust up that he's created. And it is so silly, and it is so stupid, and it's not why I'm an American. I'm an American because I have the freedom to decide what I'm going to do, and the free will to decide what I'm going to do. And and that has and I as a employee of somewhere, I have rights beyond being an employee. Yeah, you got a right not not to not to play the game for that team. If, oh if God! That rule is that that's the rule. Can you believe this, Ray? Yes. No, I mean to me, it's. It's it, the taking a knee is is simply saying we don't like what's going on, but it's a respectful uh, gesture. Not respectful. It's not a, it's not a gesture of um, aggression it's, or it's anything not like that. Respectful, Ray. He he How had it socks with pigs on it. It was an anti-police socks uh, with pigs. matter protest, and it was uh, put in the face of the fans and the people that pay him. Well, what if he had socks with pigs on it while he had his hand on his heart? I mean, what what does that have to do with anything? Well, because they were police pigs. You know? Well, okay, good, because Cats. black people are getting shot at all the time. Good and, for him. And, and cops aren't? Uh, I'll bet you they're more black. I didn't say, I, I didn't say cops I, weren't. I bet there are oh, more blacks goodness. have been shot by cops than cops have been shot by blacks. And yeah. I'll take that bet to the bank. Yeah, well, it just so happens that there's a lot of crime in black areas. <clears throat> oh, there's a lot of crime wow. in police areas too. Well, they have there's to- a lot of areas. But okay, that's just racist. Well, I, you know, I, I hey, like no, the what you, well, well, let, hey, let Bree say something. Because there's, right. a there's a hell of a lot of white collar crime that rip people off way more than the the black crime. Yeah. And hurt millions and millions of people every day and have taken old women's 
uh, you know, old ladies uh, living and put them on the street and all this crap. Like collar crime, you have, as the victim, you have a choice of whether to involve yourself or not. Oh, God. A crime where somebody hits you over the top of the head and takes your purse, that you don't have a choice. And white people do that to other people, too. And black people do it to black people. Hey, and white there people there do are white, white people that live in high crime black neighborhoods, too. Mm-hmm. And there are black people that live in high hey, crime look, white look, neighborhoods. Hey, look, look, look. I it, mean, come it, on. It's, it, it's, it's, it's not okay to be a black criminal in America, but it's okay to be a white criminal and have your name be Trump or Kushner or, uh, yeah. or Cohen. Hey, Kushner uh, got his uh, pass back. Yes, yeah, so? Right. So? Well, that must mean that he's not a criminal because he passed the uh, background check. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. How yeah. many people pass back background checks that then go back into their place of work and shoot the place up? Uh, only postal employees. And, and also, who's his father? His father-in-law. Well, you, hey, just because his father-in-law served, to, or his father served time, isn't it? You know, uh, there's, there's no reason to uh, discriminate against him. Uh-huh. That's racist. No, I agree with that. Yeah. I, I never, I never want to. I don't think there's any criminalization by association yeah. in that, in those terms. Here, here comes, here comes, here comes crime. Brian. Let's get Brian's two cents worth on Trump, this deal. Trump is not allowed to block people from Twitter now. Oh, yeah. Well, we'll get into that in a moment. I want to get to that one, too. Uh, yes. Uh, hello, Brian. You've been listening to what's going on here? I just tuned in, but you wanted my input on something? Oh, yeah. The, the whole thing with uh, with the uh, uh, NFL hey, saying yeah. that uh, the teams have yeah, to... Yeah, I got to get ready for work. I'll try to check back in in a half an hour or so. We'll oh, see. Oh, okay. Uh, but it's not- Okay. Okay. Take care, Talk to you later, Bree. Right, thanks. A lot. Okay. Thanks Talk for calling. Hope we hear from you later. Okay. Uh, no, we were talking about the whole thing with the NFL uh, passing this rule today uh, that the teams have to uh, make their people, you know, bow for the national anthem. Stand for the national. Anthem. Stand for the national anthem. Okay. Yeah. Ba- uh, bow. And this, stand. and this, the glorious fascist state of America. Yeah. Nevertheless. Yeah. I have more of the other thing about uh, Trump being blocked from uh, tw- from uh, uh, Twitter. blocking people from his Twitter account. Yeah. Uh, I, th- I heard that on the radio, actually, on my way to the house here. Yeah. And uh, all I had to say to that was, good, I hope the motherfucker has a stroke. I hope, he, I hope he fucking passes out on account of the fact that he can't be the dictatorial cocksucker that he normally is by his very nature because he's going to have to listen to people like me bitch to him and I'm going to get right to his fucking face and I'm going to point my little finger at him, this one right here I'm going to stick it right up his fucking nose I love you Ladies and gentlemen, Brian <laughs> and I, hope, I hope he has an aneurysm I hope he has bleeds from his eyes I'd love to see that happen Oh, wow. Short and for it to the extreme, more like short and frenzy, my frenzy, where my eyes turn white like a great white shark because of the suffering. <laughs> <laughs> you are a sick man. I love it. Uh, yeah, he is. Well, he... like Dexter Morgan, sick, not like Donald Trump, sick. Where I prey on the weak, I prey on the predators, which is what I aspire Good. to be like. You mean yeah. you mean uh, lowering drug prices by thirty percent is p- preying on the weak? Who, who's lowering drug well, prices? Certainly wasn't Trump. Trump. Lower my well, how did he prices. lower drug prices, Phil? There. He's doing it right now. How? What they, what they, no. you know, what they've done is he, they've, uh, uh, they're working with the uh, drug companies. Uh, I'll find the article, but uh, oh, I'm sure uh, you will, Phil, and it probably won't say exactly what you're telling us. I'm sure. It, I'm sure it will. He's 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 lowering drug prices, and uh, you know he's he's uh, he's negotiating with these guys. And Until I oh, yeah, because of the, the great negotiator that he is, you know, I mean, he was one of the best negotiators in the history of business. Yeah, look at China. What do you mean, A look lot at of China? Now they agreed that they're going to buy more American goods. They're they've uh, they've agreed that they're not going to steal our technology. Yeah, uh, uh, and also doing? we've agreed we've agreed to to uh, help their companies out. Uh, we uh, we're, we're kowtowing to them as well. No, uh, are you talking about the cell phones? Huh? Yeah. Are you talking about that ZT? All I understand, all we did 
was tell them that we weren't going to sell them the semiconductors anymore. No, uh, no, 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 no. He wanted to help save ZTE. He, no, he, he helped save 50 jobs, 50 China Chinese jobs. So it's no longer make, a, make America great again. It's make China great again. So yeah, thank you for that. It, it Renee, China, ladies and gentlemen. of the North Korean peninsula, then I think it's a good thing. And did you hear what happened to the, so the coal miners now, they've actually gotten a hold of all of the coal miners that will be doing the work. And it was something like 80% of them have uh, black lung disease. And on top of that, would you like to know how much it costs to replace a lung in the oh. United States? I've over popped up a lung a couple of times. This over a million dollars. So you've got two lungs, one's got black lung, it's got to be removed, and you're going to suffer with one lung unless you've got like a million dollars to get that and second Trump lung. And Trump wants to help Reyes send them back. I know the mining companies for the longest time for decades denied that even black lung disease it existed. existed in the first place. Absolutely. And, and it was, we just heard it on NPR. It is an astounding amount of people in that industry that My have My father this was a disease. coal miner. He can tell you the stories. Really? So, and then as far as standing for your, you know what, Phil, it, they're not performance artists. Ray is a performance person. No, they're sporting athletes. This is a sporting event. This is not a play where I go give them money and Ray's going to bow for me because that's what Ray has got to do. It's a sporting event, and it's pretty vicious of a sporting event. If you have, if you one, ask one, me, one too. that uh, they inflicts brain damage. Oh yeah. 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 Well, absolutely. Suppose, suppose. But in the NFL's defense and in the players' defense, on that regard, in that context, yeah. they know what they are signing up for. Well, now they do. They didn't before. This because is true. The reason I stopped watching NFL was because of Junior Seau. I don't understand. He shot himself in the chest. Yeah. He shot himself. So, yeah. fantastic guy, a wonderful a role minute. model. Did a lot of amazing things. Hold, hold he on a second. He was so depressed. Hold, hold on a moment. Uh -huh. Ray, are we getting a rerun? Didn't the dog just do that a while back? They, they're full of water. Yes, but she <laughs> she loves this thing. Uh, oh, she's okay. Adorable. All right. I, I was she's just. So I, it is an awfully cute oh, dog. Uh, yeah, you know, so, uh, can I can I just say one thing about the one of the big differences here? Yeah. Okay, you're forcing people to take a, a a political stance when you have them stand in uh, a certain way and respect the flag and all that. In in the theater world, that would never happen. You would never force anyone. To make to make a personal uh, statement that they didn't believe in, there that would go. not happen. The union would not allow that. I know that for well, sure. Well, the union's not, for the most part, allowing uh, uh, the the Roger Gardell to uh, dictate the terms and conditions of this anyhow. Good. They shouldn't. They're, they're saying. They're saying. A lot of them are saying, "Hey, we'll pay the fine. Fuck you." Yeah. Yeah. The and, and they the should be on the player side. Absolutely. Oh, big time. Players but yeah, it's it's sad. I agree. And, you know, and, and you know why you know why Goodell's doing this and why the NFL's doing it? Their television ratings are down. Yeah, and, and they because, and they, uh, and, and they to according to Dino, uh, uh, I can't pronounce his name, Dean Obadala, yeah. that uh, many of the left wingers or people who lean left were tuning out on account of how blacklisted that uh, Colin Kaepernick was, was this past football season. So they were yeah. saying, so no, it wasn't, but they're football trying football to make it seem yeah. like the most visit. people feel like I do. No, no, no. actually you they don't. Touch. No, you guys, but you're right. Touch. So yeah. the next time that you little white people that don't have $75 a seat ticket to go to a goddamn $75 football game, a seat, it's more like 150. Yeah, that's cheap. So if you can't even come up with $75 a ticket to stand up in the upper area, then shut the fuck up about the players. Because we don't want to hear it. What's your problem? You know, the players should just leave. Ultimately, the players, if it comes to this, uh, the players should just leave and start their own new league. Well, and what? then did you... Yeah, I agree with that. Because I hey, feel... To that. Sorry. Yeah, yes, Ray. Why wouldn't you want people to exercise their freedom of speech? I don't understand that. I'm Why very happy. Not? I am very happy if they exercise their 
freedom of speech. But there's oh. a time and a place. And oh, when oh, they're wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Freedom of speech form. is an absolute. It's not an either or. Well, there's you see, no time and place for protests. The cast of Hamilton did to uh, Vice President Pence either. I, oh. I felt that that was totally out of place. Why? I don't. Pence oh. showed up to the theater whenever he shows up in he public. A ticket. No, he no. Okay, so hold on. You're telling me that the man who was do? just elected as the vice president and, of the United States had a ticket that he bought to Hamilton, as opposed to his sorry white ass was let into that place. You're a bigot. No, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on a second, oh, yeah. Phil. Phil, why? how do you Did know he? Pay wait a minute. Right. How do you know he paid for that ticket? He but said he didn't he did. pay for it. He did not pay for it. There is no way. I mean, how far out is Hamilton to buy a ticket? Four months? Yeah. Six he, months to get a Hamilton ticket? He bought and it. He did. just happened to have it? Yeah. Well, he might have bought it, but he got preference in terms of... Well, let's just he say he bought the damn ticket, because it makes what? no difference to me, as far as I'm concerned, it's immaterial whether he paid for it or not. The fact is, they had every right if, to... If I it. saw... What did they do? If, if, if I saw... If, if, if I was walking down the street... Wait a minute. If I was walking down the street and Pence was coming at me from the other direction, I would I give him the fucking egg. finger. Okay? I feel like I, I would... I would... You can do that under free speech. But when the oh, guy but, but buys when, a ticket, oh, when a guy buys a a ticket show, wait a minute, wait, wait, wait a minute. Okay, 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 so you're placing a price, you're p p p you're placing a price on freedom of speech, it, and no, it's the cost a of a ticket. A you say that the cost of a ticket hey, gives you the right to have people do things do they don't feel morally right to theater? do. Yes, this is not hey, yes. I do and there's no fire in a crowded theater. What did they do? I, don't, I, okay, I have so one have of my best back. friends is in that show. Okay. <laughs> All right, so go uh, ahead. Uh, who wants to explain it to Ray? Well, let, go, Phil. Go ahead. All right. Uh, Pence went to see Hamilton, and at the end of the show, the uh, uh, members of the cast from the stage singled him out. and uh, uh, They didn't sort single of him out. Let him they finish. Didn't, they didn't single him out, but go ahead. All right. And they, and they lectured him uh, on uh, what they feel that he should do. Uh, you know, and they, uh, it, it just wasn't okay. a, appropriate. Now we'll hear the truth of what really happened from somebody who knows Renee. Okay, so the man was just elected vice president of the United States. He got his sorry ass hands on tickets to Hamilton, which were a very difficult ticket to get. Well, that's fine. And, I well, mean, well, a lot of people get no. favored. Wait, 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 hold on, let her, let, let her he finish. Went in, he watched the play. The, the actual actors in the play came out at the end when they were going to stand up and do their bow thing. They yeah. made a very nice, intelligent speech about how they felt, felt about somebody jackass like, like Trump. And they made their statement and they left. And all of the little white people went ballistic saying, oh, you picked on our vice president. Hey, oh, my hey, God. Hey. man. You know, uh, this is well said from somebody who believes in killing babies that uh, it, it could be black or white. Okay, what? Know, start with killing babies. Every, almost what? every woman what on the that wait, wait, where, where did that, where did that come in, from, uh, Phil? Where did that, where the fuck did that abortion. come from? So let, let's hey, talk that about came that. from an equal thing of the, her bigotry against white people. My no, my bigotry against stupid hey, white people. I fucking I fu but you know hey, the I'm, elitist. Hey. The elitist liberal knows who's stupid I, and who's I, smart. I, I hate. Let, let, wait a minute. Hold on a second. I hate okay. fucking white people. Okay. Yeah, that's so, why you live in Harlem. Yeah. Let, let's get this straight. All right. I don't hate men. I don't hate black people. I don't hate white people. I don't hate exp Hispanic people. The line is drawn. I don't hate Muslim people. When you're an idiot. Oh, and, but and I'll take it even stupid. further, Renee. You're, I'll take you're, it. The, you're the person, you're the judge and jury that can say whether one is an idiot and one is not an idiot. This is Brian. Well, no. Go. Yes, Brian take, has his hand up. Let me up. take what Renee said and extrapolate on that. She said what she said. I'm going to say what I say, which is I, do, I, 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 I tolerate people. What I can't tolerate, what I can't stand is ignorance and False senses of entitlement. There you go. Well, that's Renee, a good one. <laughs> uh, if anyone has a false sense of entitlement, it's you. Really? Yeah. You don't think I've earned my my my? I'm an American woman. 
I have worked all my life and I, between Marty and myself, we've saved a lot of money. I have earned my right to open my mouth when I see some jackass doing something stupid. And if you think I don't have a right to open my mouth, you're wrong. No, you don't have a right to spew the bigotry and hate, hatred towards uh, white Phil, people that Phil, you're spewing. Phil, I don't think she's been spewing hatred bigotry towards... and hatred towards white people. I, I mean, not only is she herself white, and I myself white, but... Like she's she's in a way saying what I was saying. Well, it's, it's not, white. It's her white guilt that it's uh, not guilt. All sense no. of entitlement no. and ignorance. No, okay. Yeah. You know my own my Can guilt is is because right now you guys are creating uh, the Donald Trump is going to create another level of poor in the United States, and you're not paying attention to how many people that's going to hurt. You mean the and you don't and you don't care. You mean the three million three hundred thousand people that have yeah. got jobs since he became president. Right. Uh, yeah. Because you know what? I'll go to CVS right now and get a job for ten dollars an hour, yeah. and that'll yeah. make. Yeah. Uh, by the way, by, by the way, those, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Those those, those, those yeah. jobs those jobs don't pay what they used to. Uh, let, let's go to Ray. Ray? I, I just want to say something quickly about Hamilton. I mean, Renee, you said they did it in a respectful way. Oh, and they yeah, did. You, got, you okay. can go online and see it. Okay, yeah. I will. Okay, so I just want you to know that this is not uncommon on Broadway. I have been to many Broadway shows where at the end they come out and they talk about AIDS, they talk about political things. Uh, it's, it's It happens a lot. If they yeah. do it on the they do it they don't, curtain call. Right. They, they don't do it the, to an individual. The white people well, did they mention up? his oh. name? Did they say Pence? Yes, they did. They did. Yeah, then you're gonna love. Then you're gonna. Did they do it in a respectful way? They said Mr. You're gonna. Okay, then you're gonna love the story I'm about to tell you. But did they say Mr. Pence? Well, this is what we would like. You know, this is what we hope you do or something. Something like that. Yeah. I'll I'll shut up. No, 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 I'm you're right. It was something like that. Phil, Phil yeah. is going to Phil's like going to absolutely love this story. Uh, years yeah, ago, wasn't... I went to see Peter Cook and Dudley Moore do their show on Broadway, and I was there and sitting in the seat in front of me was Henry Kissinger. And when oh, at the God. end of the show, Peter Cook and Dudley Moore came out and said, "Oh, ladies and gentlemen, we have a doctor in the house. Will you stand up, Dr. Kissinger?" I booed him right in his ear. Excellent. You see, you and by are the in the way, audience. By the way, right. I was you then. I was then. No. I was then tackled. Okay, uh, because good. but <laughs> I felt my feeling was these people who were perpetuating the war in Vietnam should not be allowed to go anywhere and think they had a free pass because uh, they were somehow everybody respected. Splitting them. hairs, Phil. Hey, yeah, Bennett. It's too bad they didn't have a taser uh, in those years. Yeah. Uh, well, you know what. Disturbing the peace. Mm -hmm. you, you would think that Pence would like the fact that somebody expressed themselves and said what they would like him to do. You would think that they would, he would like that. Why not? You why know, wouldn't he like that as the vice president of the United States? Why? I don't know why he would like it or wouldn't like it. I just thought it was inappropriate. <laughs> well, the, I'm, I'm telling you, Phil, it's they not. do it all the time on Broadway. They do it all the time. It ha I've been to many shows. Where they they have AIDS stuff. They have uh, uh, Black but Lives AIDS Matter. They do all these things. Support this and support that is not singling out an individual in the audience. Uh, he is the vice president, and they were telling him what they were hoping that he would do. You said he just got elected, right? Right. Yeah. Well, what's wrong with that? Uh, How I is that a problem? It, it, it was disrespectful. Yes, the little brother, white no, men with the little white I'm going to have to go walk to see how disrespectful, disrespectful it was. I'm yeah, going to go watch it. Right. It's, it's well, all over. They have it on film. I don't know. Did I, they, I, they I doubt it was film? disrespectful. Did they allow I really doubt it. In a, uh, uh, during a show? We have no idea, Phil. It was the end of the show, Phil. That's number well, one. Well, somebody probably filmed it illegally and put it up. Well, then we can put the, if we find any more details on us, we can post it on one of the Facebook pages. No, well, I'm going I'm to go watch it. No, no, just, out. just go to YouTube and search it. I'm and sure you can. Like, That's uh, what I was thinking. It's probably I mean, on it somewhere. Say. And Phil, just because you were up, the little white people were all upset about it, doesn't mean any of us have to give a shit about it. You went to a theater, they upset you people, and it's a big deal. The rest of us don't give a fuck. Yeah, do, do you feel good about that? You know, no, I, I give a fuck. fucking fantastic. 
Yeah. I'm glad they said something. I'm almost experiencing an orgasmatic yeah. sense of joy here. Hold on, hold on a second. Every, you, every, every, everybody. I mean, Alex found it. Be, be quiet no, for a second. Uh, this was in a okay. newscast on CNN, and this was part of it. And they go to a video, and uh, let's see what they have to say here. Uh, wait a minute. I have to. I have to do this. And as they took their curtain call, one of the stars of the musical had this message for him. Listen. You know, we had a, a, a guest in the audience this evening. And Vice President-elect Pence, I see you walking out, but I hope you will hear us just a few more moments. There's nothing to move here, ladies and gentlemen. There's nothing to move here. We're all here sharing a story of love. We have a, we have a message for you, sir. We hope that you will hear us out. And I encourage everybody to pull out your phones and tweet and post because this message needs to be spread far and wide, okay? Vice President-elect Pence, we welcome you and we truly thank you for joining us here at Hamilton and American Music. We really do. We, sir, we are the diverse America who are alarmed and anxious that your new administration will not protect us. Our planet, children, our parents, or defend us and uphold our inalienable rights, sir. But we truly hope that this show has inspired you to uphold our American values and to work on behalf of all of us. Yeah. All of us. Yeah. Again, we truly thank you for sharing this show, this wonderful American story told by a diverse group of men and women of different colors, creeds, and orientations. Yeah. Okay, so that that was what was what they said. I didn't well, find anything. Too yeah, terrible. this whole notion of disrespectful. I thought that in order to get respect, you had to earn it first. Yeah, and so well, far, fuck. even especially yeah. after two I years into his presidency, give it to get it. I sure no, you it. don't. You don't have to give it. You have to earn it. You people who want it, you have to earn it. Ray, go ahead and tell I was, us this. You, you. I thought that was you excellent, to and they put it in the context of the show. No. The, the, the show is about what he talked about. This, it, Hamilton is a the theme of Hamilton is about what he, he reiterated the theme of Hamilton and and was respectful to Vice President-elect Pence, saying, we hope that you respectful. adhere to what the theme of this show is. Right. That's all he said. Just what? because he claimed he was respectful doesn't mean he was respectful. He was. I just heard it. Thank you. Oh, wait. Hold on. I can do both, right? Respect. Yesterday you did You'll both. work the shaft. Okay, work the shaft. <laughs> work the shaft. <laughs> work the shaft. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I thought. I, okay, my my, my, oh, well, that's my take on point it. Point my take point. on it, if anybody cares, um, is that I thought it was very respectful. I thought it was a an ability for a group of people to redress their grievances to somebody in power who may take that word back to Washington with him and express yeah. what they had expressed to him. That and was, what was happened a, after that? And oh. what happened after he they said the that? Nothing. Pence tried to get out of there before anybody even right. nailed but him. Don but Donald when Trump. When they started, he started to leave. Donald no, Trump. he was leaving already, and they said, if you could stop for a moment, and we'd like to talk with you. Oh. Well, uh, yeah. I just think that that was. Uh, well, it was Donald, you're right to Duran. I think I know George where you're getting at. It was George Donald George Trump who Trump. flustered, huffed, and puffed, and Mike, Mike Pence just, you know. Yeah, so being, Mike Pence, here's the deal. Being, political yeah, that he is it just said yeah okay just, i wasn't offended yeah you're right so what what brian was saying was right this wasn't so mike pence has enough class to have gotten out of this situation and and he did he did with the utmost i don't know adulthood that comes from the republican party but it wasn't him that started this fight it was the jackass trump that started this fight i think because it was the, the jackass actor that did it oh bullshit you know, the guy was just there. Just because he belongs to your union doesn't necessarily mean you have to uh, you have to support him. You know, Trump oh was God. there. Tr uh, not Trump. I don't. What does that have to do? Oh, look there. there you go. Pence was there. So <laughs> as a part, as a as a part, as a audience member, and you just don't do that. What? No matter what your He's vice president of the United States. You're never there as an audience member. You're you're, you're rep no matter where you go. If you're vice president of the United States, you're vice president of the United States. And he's and he does his job that he gets paid for. And right, collusion is vice president, not to get called out at a Broadway show. 
Collusion is but, one of those things he gets paid for, too. We've already seen that report. Uh, yeah. You know, there's no collusion. That's uh, what the fact is. Oh, everyone has to side the vice point. President Mike Pence does it being the vice president. Well, the problem with, with collusion in Trump is he feel, feels that if he can't spell it, it doesn't exist. Yeah, there you go. Oh, it's <laughs> beefy. You can't pronounce it either. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. It, well, neither can she. Oh, yeah. Oh, what was her Now you're making fun of Melania's uh, accent no, because no, she's a was, foreigner. Now she, she, well, I think she's been here long enough to speak better English, okay? The yeah, other she, she speaks fine. Whatever. Whatever. It's the blonde bitch that I'm talking about. What's her name? Tommy Lohan? Lauren? No, Ivanka. By, by the way, did he... Uh, did, yeah. it, it, the incestuous it, daughter. Did, did, Mel yeah. did, did Melania <laughs> ever become a... Uh, is she a, is she a, a citizen? You're welcome for that image, by yeah, the way. She is. Are you sure she's a citizen? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Have you, seen the pap have you seen the papers, Phil? <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, what's... Uh, uh, running uh, the uh, from the uh, dog <laughs> uses those papers. <laughs> what? Uh, wait a minute. Uh, Hold on a second. <laughs> We've been joined by we've been joined by John Perulis. Hello, John. And there. Hi. I, I got a bowl full of cherries. Oh, okay. See, yeah. life is a bowl full of cherries. Hey, what? Brian. I think you are That's a funny a box guy. Box. I'm so happy to see you here. <laughs> I'm just honest. <laughs> hey, John. I thought yeah, life I was just going to ask if you popped any of those cherries, but I guess not. I was. I set myself up for that one. Yeah. <laughs> he kind of did. <laughs> Ma Maui Brewing Company. Ah, beer, huh? Hey, uh, we brewski. heard that the volcano has reached. Probably will wash the taste of the vomit in her mouth that I put in her whenever I made that oh. visual image in her mind. Hey, Renee, can you hear us now? Hey, John's here. Yeah. Uh, and now I, we, I heard that the lava has reached the water from the volcano. That was about four days ago, yeah. Phil. It's right. flowing like a freaking river. Okay. Yeah. So, so it's like causing... two Two landings in the water. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we have a new word, and it's called vlaze. Right, and that's what I want to know if that reached your side of the island. Oh no, it had no. Uh, so this stuff, when it hits the water, that kind of uh, action or reaction keeps it pretty down low to the water. The one, all the stuff everybody else is worried about is when the when the um, uh, top cauldron gets uh, gets clogged and then that sends up yeah. up to 30,000 feet that sends up stuff you're not supposed to breathe so it, the, when it hits the water it kind of stays close to the to the, the surface but the stuff that comes out of the the explosion that can get blown around quite a bit and it has a, it was up here over the weekend but I've got the air conditioner on and the windows shut so I'm not worried about it but so and, have, and, have, and the lava hitting the water just is going to make the island bigger. Where did everybody go? We suddenly lost a, a, gee, a whole mess of viewers. Wow. Uh -oh. Maybe oh, I should go away. No, uh, I, uh, don't we worry argue about it. More. It's went out. Don't worry no, about so, it. You know what? Yesterday I was listening to you guys, and I was going to call in, but I wanted to see the weather. See, that's the problem with your new time slot is it coincides with the weather. <laughs> But you guys were just... Wait a minute, my new time slot? Well, see, when you guys... Hey, All right, let's rephrase that. When the time... <laughs> when when uh, daylight savings time happened, mm -hmm. you messed up Which my time to actually see you. So now you come in at the same time. The news Marco comes. Rubio, by the way, and I can come to an understanding and a complete agreement on the whole uh, daylight savings time being a fucking joke thing, by the way. Yeah. Wow, you have something in common with Marco Rubio? Oh, yeah, that. Oh, there you go. Because <laughs> yeah. he was, See, he was I'm saying, he's a guy's natural. Savings. Did they not have daylight savings time in Arizona? So Arizona, they well, there and, are some parts of the country that don't observe it. And and us are the two states that I know of. There might be other states. There, there are counties we, in Indiana. Okay, so we don't flip. Uh, um, we're only we when we flip, we're only two hours behind you and not three hours behind you kind of thing so there's two divide right. by one the most sensible make... the most sensible people <laughs> too in the much whole, math most sensible Coffee people hey, hey gee can i say Ray, something Ray, here? Ray can i say what? something here Ray, can i say uh, something I so. here what oh god nope Sorry. raise your hand alex go ahead raise your hand <laughs> uh, alex has something to say go ahead <laughs> what I was going to say is the smartest people in the world are the Chinese. How many time zones do you think they have in that whole big country? Right. 
One. Yeah. One. And that makes sense. I mean, and we needed to get rid of this, but there's a lot of yeah, things. Yeah, I, I would agree. It's yeah. not just the Chinese, maybe the Western Europe, and uh, it's certainly not in this country, America. America. Yeah. Mr. Perula has America. his... Hey, I, I want to know, Ray Renati, did you get an it? angry call from your dad yet? Oh, oh shit. <laughs> no, I'm just hoping that thing disappears into the netherworld. Oh, I heard that yesterday. I was rolling on the well, floor. Actually, I was kind of planning. <laughs> I mean, I loved it. But I was, knowing, you know, I was kind Alex. of planning on putting it permanently on the Gabnet website. Right. Knowing knowing Alex, he's going to make should, a PSA. You should hire a sketch artist to put some illustrations oh, up. Just Rob, like Rob's going to tur Rob's gonna turn it into a promo. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. And, the people with longer attributes do Tricks. go ahead you can say penis problem. come on say penis renee come on say penis, penis. <laughs> say penis well, also girth. 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 Does, um do they and have as many as much is prostate have problems have any relation to the length of your no members? not at all i hope not uh Whoa, alex. <laughs> alex just gave us a little hint yeah Oh, no, don't get that. I don't want I that. Think, right. I, I, I think I've heard it's, no. I, 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 there is a relationship between prostate cancer and short penises. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, Hi, Mrs. Perellis. 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 What? I'm What's trying, up? I'm trying to read, and all I can hear is... Oh, my wife's complaining against me. I've got to go in the other room. We're so sorry. <laughs> Okay. Hang well, on. at least she's getting an education on this side. It's it's oh, amazing, you know, how we're all pussy whipped by our wives. Uh, you it, you know, double. having respect for somebody, somebody to come to this is something. Okay, just chill out. Our, 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 our latest room. big fight. Our latest big fight. Get this. This is the kind of thing you fight at, with uh, with each other over when you get older. Uh, Alex. <laughs> Will you always turn the light out in the bathroom so if I wake up in the middle of the night to go pee, I don't have a light in the bathroom? Put a night light in. Well, and, and you I'm, know what my problem is? I, see, I have uh, headphones or earplugs in, and I talk louder, so my, yeah, my yeah. voice uh, yeah, is yeah, no, but, but, but my point, uh, my point was I was saying to her, yeah, but, you know, everything we do is because it has to be done for her. The fan has to be on because it's too hot. <laughs> You know, the light has to be on because she may pee in the middle of the night, you know. But I pee in the middle of the night, and I'm still awake, so I have the light on so I can read things while I'm yes, in there. Yes, you can, you can hear the water when, you, yeah. when you're peeing, you know. Okay. But, but I, I, I have to say, if she's listening, it was a pretty stupid argument we were having here over that. Yeah. But you know what? The Toto can fix all that. Oh, really? Does itself? it turn the lights on and off? There, it, it has a light. Some Totos have a light in the seat, and it just highlights the but seat. But how am I so going to read from the light in the seat if I'm sitting on the seat? Because no, no, your you head is in the seat. <laughs> you know, if, think about it. If you're kneeling in front of it and, and you're and you're uh, looking into it, yeah. uh, into the throne, you got a light right there, a ring light that uh, you can use to, to read. And that's another thing. Why is it that you guys are so just like okay so when we attacked we didn't attack her uh who's the broad that stands up every day with the fake eyelashes and the makeup and oh, um, does pelosi no and we talk about that in, in. <laughs> no no his his actual press sec or his secretary that gives oh the uh yeah i know oh, he oh shaka b sanders so here's the deal when she was attacked or when she, when uh wolf made comments about her she did not have a problem with the comments, all right? Sarah Huckabee Sanders didn't say shit about what was said to her. She has too much class. You, no, no, what you stupid Ugh. little men did, and, and I'm going to give you a little hint here. You stupid little men took up for her and didn't let her speak for herself. Trump said, Trump said, oh, you shouldn't attack her. And ever all of the rest of you little men said, oh, no, she's she's doing the job that she's supposed to be doing. And you'd and call she, a show if she we let no, her. No, she didn't say a damn word. It was she just listening to. to the men. No, see, that's the point. She did have to. It was her voice. They were coming after her. 
The point wasn't She's that you need to open your mouth. Me. You no, you don't need to take up for her. You don't need to take up for a woman if she's a real woman. And well, next, what were they no attacking point. her on? I'm lost. Kind of oh, were they attacking her? Uh, no, what it was, the chorus. No, the chorus. The chorus on, on facts, on, on issues concerning her profession, not issues it, concerning her appearance. It, it was a chorus. No, no, her weight. Too. Oh, yeah. no, her eyes. Oh, well, we did the smoky eyes thing. She, well, yeah, she that was by another woman, though. So. so okay, so let's have this conversation. That give her a pass. Stop it. So I hey, suppose I, I can't call her a fat cunt. Ooh. Yeah, that's Just like what we me did. being gay can call another gay guy a cocksucking. Cock yeah, sucking? yeah, yeah. Well, if Come he on. is a cocksucker, yeah. if, he's co if he sucked. Or a black guy can call another black guy a nigger. They do Why it all the time. No, I don't think that's right. Nigga. Or, or a kike or anything else or an elitist you know uh or or make fun of somebody because they believe in uh, that they're a republican you know all of that is wrong yeah. i say even if you're not black and you call somebody the n-word or you're not a, a a man and you and you uh accuse and you criticize uh shaka b sanders appearance or vice versa you're a woman and you call me a fat ass um you're right. You're allowed to. And hashtag get over. Yep. No, you're not. And and don't come to our rescue. It just makes us look ridiculous and stupid and weak. Well, that's because women are ridiculous and stupid. But, Some, you know. Somebody wrote here on our uh, uh, Foreman Colossus wrote Sarah Fuckabee class. That's Thank like you. calling a rabid dog cuddly. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> well, Mr. Colossus. Uh, Who was so that like person? Really? I want to get okay. it. <laughs> so there's, there's, oh, okay, John. Like that. <laughs> yes, John. Sarah Fuckabee Clark. That's funny. I have a police question. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. I have a police question, Phil. Today I saw this thing that really bugged me. Uh, I was driving to work right along the uh, Lincoln Park golf course overlooking the Golden Gate, real beautiful. And in front of me was this car from Oregon and all the windows were black even the front windshield and the guy oh, was driving ticketed. like two miles an hour and I uh, you know I thought man if I was a cop to stop in this guy I'd just pull my gun out because you no. can't see a friggin thing you can't see so what would you do in a situation like that Phil well sometimes you can shine a light on the uh, on the uh, uh, window and you can see through it but uh, you can order them out you know uh, yeah. by one you do what's called a felony stop uh, where you you bring them out and then uh, if uh, and of course you want backup but what we mm -hmm. were trained to do when yeah, people van did. is we walk up to the edge of the van like the right ah. quarter panel yeah. put our ear to the uh, to the metal and see if we can hear anything uh, going on in the van. And then if you, if they sound black, you start shooting like crazy? <laughs> Only with a shotgun. If they're as black as the window sill. Uh, no, yeah. like <laughs> German Shepherd's out, and we start chasing them down to Alabama, but, you know. I used to have... Also, the state of California, the, you're not allowed to have your windshield tinted too dark, and you're not allowed to have yeah. your driver's side window. I used to have a problem when I worked, when I, years ago, when I held one of my teenage jobs at the Marin Motor Movies, uh, they had, uh, once a year, they had a collection for the Will Rogers Hospital, and they made us go from car to car with a bucket to get donations, and they assigned me to the back row. I'm and and any time I saw a steamed up window, especially if there were footprints on the window, well, you kind of I didn't even I didn't even knock on the door. You know. <laughs> well, maybe they were heavy breathers. That could be. That could Republicans. Be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So let's talk about mouth breathers. Yes. <sighs> yeah. There you go. Uh -huh. Well, during allergy season, I see no other choice. Hey, I got a new CPAP machine. I'm, I don't, I don't breathe through the mouth at night anymore either. Uh, you know? Why don't you just lose some weight and you won't snore anymore? Uh, yeah. That's not a hundred percent true. Uh, but I, I have, a, I have a CPAP. Which is uh, my, which is my latest problem, by the way. My, well, see, my latest have, problem is. Hold on a sec. Can I say? I started talking, yeah, Phil. You raise your hand. R raise your hand. Now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, dirty. <laughs> anyway, anyway, now I forgot what I was going to say. 
you, you have to uh, give respect in order to lost weight. Oh, 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 so, so anyway, so I, I lost all this weight, okay? So I get on the scale every couple of days, and I've been staying rigidly on my low-carb diet, and I've been going to the gym. I went to the gym out of, out of eight days. I've gone seven, okay? Uh, and I do about 45 minutes in there. I, I do a workout and everything, and I've gained two pounds. That it always happens when you first start working out. Yeah, always. Really? He hasn't built any muscle. Larry Bubbles Brown said that uh, in, in his earlier interview that maybe he was gaining muscle. But no. that, that, that's not going to happen after eight days. No, no. It just happens. At every time you diet and you start working out, you haven't been working out, you always gain weight. It's happened to me a bunch of times. I don't really understand it. It has to do with water and uh, all kinds of things. Yeah. Well, you would know. I mean, so, Brian, can we ask, what are you doing in Florida? I'm not in Florida. He's not in Florida. No, no. Aren't you buying a house in Florida or thinking about moving down there? I never what the hell was on your Facebook post? Oh, well, maybe, some, maybe some son of a bitch hacked my account. I don't know. You were moving down there with your sister and you might be buying a house. And Wow, boy. I, I never said that. Again. That could be another Brian. Hey, Brian, land's real cheap in Lilani Estates now. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's, it's on that's the straight <laughs> Brian. Straight <laughs> Brian has a Facebook Wait a minute. What's the, what's the name of though, that estate? Isn't it Lanai Estates? It's, it's, no, it's oh. Lanani. He said it right. Lanani? Lanani. Leani. Yeah. Leani. Yeah, so okay. L-A-N-I, which is yeah. Lanai. Yeah. Okay. Ani. Got it. They're, but uh, the, uh, how, they're not cheap there. Uh, they're uh, actually uh, just going to... Burst into flames. Yeah, well, uh, but what's fun? What's fun is they they have a new motto now for selling the homes there, where where the lava meets the sea. It's a wonderful thing. Well, I was going to say these prices are on fire. By the yeah. way, by the way, can I say this? Can I say this from what we see here? Yes, it's terrible. People have lost their homes, but let's face it, they built their homes on the side of a volcano. All right. But uh, also, in all due seriousness, you know, up until you called in today, Renee, you know, over off and on, I've been thinking about, I've been thinking about you and wondering what what you've been up to yeah. since all this shit went down in Hawaii. Yeah, but I got to say something: the pictures that I've seen of that volcano and what it's been doing, spectacular. Yeah, oh, yeah. scary. But yeah. So if right. if you go to YouTube, which you're all at now, go to Civil Beat Hawaii or just Civil put in Civil Beat in the YouTube. And they have a 24 hour, 24 seven ca hour camera just pointed at one of the one of the lava uh, explosions. Mm -hmm. And it's just it's running like a river. Yeah. It is so what, wide. What, what is that? Civil it beat? Is going so civil. Beat. Whoa. Civil, civil beat. And it, civil beat. And it's got a 24 seven ca webcam on it. And you're just like, fuck, fuck, we're screwed. That's just not good. That's yeah. not. You know, so, I, yeah, you should look at it. Like Civil Beat sounds like a cop uh, channel. But I don't, you know? They I, are an alternative yeah. newspaper in Hawaii, a news source in yeah, Hawaii, I, and I support them both monetarily and verbally. Hey, uh, uh, are they elitist, liberal? Renee, of no. course we There are. we go. Hey, you Ren you Ren can Ren see it. Hold on a second. Hold on a second, everybody. Cause, uh, yeah, you got to uh, see this. No, this I, webcam I, is going to go, oh, shit. Yeah, you got to you, you go, go to this go, webcam. Oh, Look at that. <laughs> No, no, you yeah. need to give us a bit. We can't see that, Alex. Civilbeat.org. Well, well, no, but you can see it. Uh, the audience can see it quite a bit. Hey, yeah. you know, Renee, i got to say it something. There you go. Yeah, yeah it just I, goes. I've that. been watching these videos every day because I used to own land in Curtistown. Uh, oh, yeah. And, well, I sold it 10 years ago. Okay. Uh, but uh, what I don't understand is when the USGS scientists uh, from the Volcano Observatory get on or anything, you know, I look at the YouTube thing, and there's always about 2,000 likes. And then there's always about 100 people that vote it thumbs down. And I'm thinking, what kind of friggin' Nimrod would vote down this wonderful presentation? The scientists admit that they don't know everything going on. They're doing their best. They take, they expose themselves to danger. They take samples to get some idea of which lava vent is spewing where or what it's going to do. And it's a it's a predictive science too. They they don't know. I don't know your name. You, uh, 
I'm sorry, I don't know your name, but what you just said there, what kind of moron? Oh, I'll tell you, I, I can speculate what kind of moron. Probably kind of like the same kind of moron who thinks that the Earth is 5,000 years old and that these scientists are going against God's work or God, something like that. Yeah. You know what, Brian? Can you be my house boy? Yeah. <laughs> no, seriously, how much do you get paid a year? Because I'll be more than I might be able to, to tap that if you want to live in the other room. Well, he he can do a lot of housework around the house, but other than that, he's gay, you know. So uh, I, I, I don't. She was talking about tapping it. I was not <laughs> talking about tapping that. He's well, he's gay. gay. He's I, gay, I'm but not, he hates I'm, people. Yeah, he. Oh, hates, oh yeah, that's true. Wait, I do I'm straight people. and I hate people. What the fuck's yeah. the difference? <laughs> By the way, is if you're you're, dead, let me uh, ask Ray. If you're, you're dead uh, serious, let me ask. Ray, you, you would be able to know how to get a hold of me. You, you would be Facebook. a plus in anybody's house. Al Alex wants to say something. He, said, about Ray, five, sir, he put up a Alex five five hour, hour, hang on. It's my goddamn station. I don't have to live by the same <laughs> rules as everybody else. <laughs> you he like pays the this. money. You Today like we just have a lot to say, Alex. Yeah, I mean, we're out of control. Alex, can't you shut off our individual mics? Or no, 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 I can't. Can shut us all off. No, I can only <laughs> shut you all off, and I will be doing that in ten minutes from right now, much to my uh, benefit. Anyway, uh, 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 Ray, now I wanted to say, is that now? Where's the dog now? Sleeping? Yeah, probably. <laughs> that's yeah, a, she's probably lying right? down. That's my a, dog is sleeping too. That's a cute so, dog. So the hey, problem is, my dog is sleeping yeah. with my girlfriend. So Ooh. my dog's crashed. Too. So the problem is, is my dog, who's a bigger dog, doesn't like fluffy things. So if you see a chicken, it's okay until it puts its wings out. So these little white dogs that you guys have, he's not sure about little white dogs. But, uh, Phil, I thought your he's girlfriend's cute. dog was sitting in that chair talking to us. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, your dog kind of looks like a. I'm sorry. Your dog kind of. Your dog kind of looks like a Disney dog. It is. I know. I know it does. What's your name? My problem. What, what kind of dog is that, Ray? It's a Labradoodle. Oh, very oh, yeah. Yeah. Boxo? I pick up my dog, but he's asleep now. I don't want to bug him. Yeah. And what kind of dog is my this, dog. John? It, it's a, I am. a mini. It's a mini uh, Maltese mix. Mini no? poodle Maltese. You see, uh, John, hey. I'm the boss Look here. I'm future. gonna go pick up my dog, and it's gonna like it. Yeah. <laughs> my dog's 65 pounds. My my my, my, my dog is a mini Rover. Oh wait a minute, that's a car. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Stop! Stop! Stop licking! <laughs> stop! Stop! <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> All we, all we need is a pony now, right? Wait, you, just keep doing that. The numbers are going up. They love dog <laughs> pictures and cat pictures and things like that. Yeah. Hey, John, do you know... Um, oh, God. Everybody's... Uh, documents. Does everybody own the same... Dog. Wait a minute. Hold yeah. on a second. Does everybody <laughs> own the they same fucking the dog. dog here and they're just trading it back and forth? Same dog. It looks like he's got some Scottish you know. terror in him. Yeah, he's got some Scottish in him. Yeah. He's got uh, Bijan Frise, and I didn't remember the other one. Say hello. Yeah. It's nice hair, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's got some Scottish in him. Yeah. There's a, a lot schnauzer of... Any schnauzer at all? No. Uh, it's, it might be part schnauzer. Yeah. yeah. It, Look at that. Yes, hey, Ray, uh, don't bring oh, your oh, dog geez. to the fight. You know, I had a friend, uh, she oh, brought no. her... Chihuahuas to you, the fight. you do know, oh, by the God. way, guys, where that mouth has been, don't you? Oh, yeah. I didn't. I wasn't making contact. Yeah. I, I just go a little bit. No. Like so, no, Ray didn't make. Contact, I used to. But, I used to with my cats. I used. I used to. Kiss, my dog knows I hate contact. I used to tongue, kiss so my cats on the lip. <laughs> I gotta say this. I used Alex, to, you said that. Uh, you said you. You just said to those guys. Uh, you know where those dogs' mouth is. Mouth has been. I just wanted to say. Well, same place your asshole has been on yeah. that microphone. Thank you. Yeah, well, uh, thank you very much. I. I just. I just got. You, I just Brian. got served by Brian. Uh, <laughs> Uh, no, but I used to kiss my cat time. on the mouth, on the lips. Oh, Go, mm, yeah. Yeah. Don't swap those germs. Those aren't germs that are supposed to be in our bodies. Hey, I never it's caught... Good. It's a good probiotic. Yeah, so I can't... 5,000 years ago, we were full of germs. We still are. We just don't want to admit it. Oh, we're full. We're, we're more full of human animals, after all. 
Oh, we have a lot of germs. We're really Billions. putrid, putrid inside. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, most of them are good germs. The only thing. And, and would you like to know a little disgusting secret? Okay. When you, when you, so. Wait, you wait, were... wait, whoa! Before you start that, if you give a disgusting secret, you're bound to see it tomorrow on Alex Bennett's okay, newsreel. So we will do this as at an adult. The when you kiss another person, you actually end up with the same germs from every other person they have kissed in their lifetime. Well, that's just like saying, wait a minute, yeah, wait a minute, in their when lifetime, you when, everybody yes, else they fuck them like this. You have the same disgusting germs that they got from whoever they slept with. Hey, and that's pretty kissable. So as long as those germs don't us, kill you or make you an invalid. Who the wait, fuck minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Where did you get this little fact? No, oh, that's true. The it's factoid. A, it's, it's a self <laughs> it's, 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 It is a Planned Parenthood, uh, not contagious disease, but actual data about yeah. how often we swap stuff with other people and the uh, way we swap. Another reason to get rid of Planned Parenthood. Yeah. Oh, it isn't. Oh, but God. Brian. You trying. could you could probably wear a condom on your tongue or something, right? That so, would probably help. <laughs> a dental dam, as they call them, or yeah, so cherry that, flavored of all she, things. So here's the thing: when people ask me if I want to start dating, I'm like, yeah, no, I, I don't want to. Not with no, I don't want to know what you slept with, and I certainly don't want to know what you kissed with that. Mouth. I just don't so, want to deal with the emotional bullshit. Well, I've got some pretty good-looking germs Michael, here, then. Michael Billy always yeah. said it was easier being gay than straight. Uh, how's, it, how's it easier being gay and straight? Because well, it when depends you on who you talk to. Okay. Depends on whose shoes you walk in. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess if you're gay, the is when, being, being when, gay when in come, Alabama the same well, the with, same way as being gay in Palm Springs. I guess I don't with, think so. with with gay, uh, it's kind of like you know, there's anal sex involved, and the hard part is making it look easy. Hey, you know, if you're walking in a guy's shoes... Fortunately, I'm a top, so I don't have to really worry about that that much. Oh, okay. <laughs> Good for what you. What is a top? You like wear a badge. A, a top is... Put it in. That's what a top is. A top stick it in. You don't ever get it stuck in, too? No? Well, like, That's one not of the reciprocal. first few months that I was... I'll tell you why. Quickly, quickly, quickly. One of the best questions I ever asked an interviewee was I was interviewing uh, Rock Hudson's former boyfriend. It was his boyfriend when he found out that Rock had AIDS, okay, uh, when he wound up at the Pasteur Institute in France. And so I said, well, you know, uh, the, the fact is that, uh, you know, it's, it's easier to get uh, AIDS if you're a top uh, rather than if you're a uh, rather if you're a bottom rather than a top, too. and and I said so. I know, and I said to him, so what were you in relationship to Rock? I actually asked him, and he said we traded off. Versatile, versatile, yeah. Yeah, well, is you it, would think, yeah, yeah. Is it true? So, do you guys like say I'm only ever going to be on top, and do I only ever have to find a bottom person? Is that the way it works? That's for certain types of, uh, well, as far as gay men are concerned, yes, it's certain okay. types. It's and there's some, out. there's some gay men who don't like anal sex at all, right? <gasps> what That's the correct. Hell? Yeah. What do they just get blowjobs? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, that sounds like a good idea. What is that? Because you're afraid of your sexuality, or is that just? Because it hurts getting it in your ass. Yeah. Okay. They just do the rusty trombone action. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and we're back to talking about your father, Ray. <laughs> Going to New Orleans with that, with that. Uh, or ex so, excuse me, in his uh, case, the rusty tuba. Uh, Mardi Gras. I'm so here, telling you guys, you're giving Bennett all this material. Oh, you're Bennett, play that during the national anthem. No, I, uh, I, I already got you something Brian Trump said Trump. earlier that I'm going to put <laughs> on. Trump volunteer. Hey, and listen. Again, who would want to put their lips anywhere near that? Oh, man, I would. It, we we, we ended the show tonight with a huge audience. I don't know what it was. I think it was it's Rusty dogs. Trombone or maybe it's, it's the, the dogs. dogs. It could be the dogs. It, it could be the tip, tip of the day for a gay male. Yeah. How's anyway, uh, thank you so much, Ray. Nice walk with your dog <laughs> earlier. And uh, uh, thank you, Brian. I, uh, I have a clip with you, I think, for tonight. 
uh, for tomorrow, <laughs> rather. John Perulis, thank you for joining yeah, me. Phil Jack Meyer, Renee Collins. Um, <laughs> why don't all you people just give a big wave goodbye so they can all see you go away. Thanks, everybody. And um, that's our citizens panel for tonight. Let me uh, get rid of them and let me hang up on them and get rid of them there so the next show can use it. Uh, the fact is the next show is up next. Of course it would be. Wouldn't the next show be up next? Yes. Uh, and the next show is uh, the intersection with Jack and Amy. That will be closely followed at 1 o'clock Eastern Daylight Time uh, with Connections. And then uh, tomorrow night it's uh, Damien with The Exchange at 9.30 Eastern Daylight Time. I'll be back again at 10 o'clock. Same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, if you see her, tell her I'll leave the light off and I love her. Okay, bye.